That's in Bella's rung. Have a great day, everybody. Don't forget to book in at the White Tent before you leave. There's also water and toilet facilities down there as well. Don't forget your water, you will need it. It's a hot day. So I was here at uh, half past six on a Sunday morning in Oh, you were late. <laughs> What time were you there? I was here at five. <laughs> five, Crikey. So yeah. why is everyone here then? What's all this about? Well, this is our annual Walk the White to raise money for the Earl Mountbatten Hospice. Um, this is the 20th year that it's been running for the hospice. And, um, yeah, we've got uh, 10,500 people registered today. Probably 12,000 people walking because we've got 4,000 ch 2,000 children walking and they normally go with their mums and dads. So we'll probably have 12,000 people walking at some time today at some part of the island. Which one is the original one? The original one is from Benbridge to the Needles, okay. the 26 so mile. It started um, in, by um, t uh, 21 years ago by Bill Bradley and Frank Stevens, who were Maury's employees, and they decided to walk across the island to raise money for charity. And the first year they did it, they did it for the um, St Mary's and Scanner appeal. And then they said, let's do it for the hospice. And ironically, sadly, a bit, uh, Bill Bradley died at the hospice a few years later after we'd got 2,000 people walking. That was in the year 2000. So we're now 2012 and we've got 10,500 people registered, probably 12,000 people walking today, so which is amazing. It's the walk, the second half of the walk from Carisbrook all the way to the Needles on a cracking day like this. It's absolutely marvellous up there today with the views that we get and it's a real pleasure to do this walk and it's for a very good cause. Uh, we raise a lot of money uh, for the hospice and uh, that's very, a very good cause and we enjoy ourselves. Yes, I think it's one of those things that, that this island can be really, really proud of because it just brings everybody together. And as Felix was saying, it's such a good cause and everybody knows somebody that's had to use the hospice at some stage or other. And this is a nice way of remembering them as well. So there's a lot going on in people's minds that are doing the walk. We're walking for Kiri Bracegirdle, who's in the, in the hospice at the moment. So obviously it's important to do It is, yeah. Have you done it before? No. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say to anyone else thinking of doing it to try and encourage them to take part? In oh, it? just do it. It's a good feeling yeah, to feel you taking is. part. My mum died in the hospice, so, you know, I know that they're good people and they do a very, very good job. It's like an achievement, isn't it? Um, doing Walk the White is a bit more different this year. It's my brother's birthday as well and he's got leukaemia so I'm trying to do it a bit more for him. Um, I'm on nights at the moment at work so just literally got back from work and we're doing it so we thought we'd dress up, a bit of fun. Yeah, a bit of a laugh, a bit of a laugh, a bit of fun. Um, and plus I'm doing I mean it's nearly three years since my dad passed away with cancer so um, yeah, it's all for a good course. This started a few years ago, we've been dressing up for the for the last four years now so it's all it was all because um, we had family who had been in the hospice so we thought we'd start raising some money thought put a bit of fun into it we'll get dressed up it all come from a sort of a drunken idea when we were playing pool one night and uh, it's been going on ever since and is it as difficult as everyone says and uh, it does get tough towards the end especially when you've got dresses on and stuff like that my tights are falling down on a regular basis at the moment so uh, it gets a bit iffy we're from the Isle of Wight County Press and we're called the Misprints. It's not easy, but you know, we haven't done much training this year, so it's it's not meant to be not meant to be easy, I don't think, but we're enjoying it, so we're gonna keep going. We've had a few little runs as well, so <laughs> hopefully we'll keep that up. Actually running. Yes, actually running. running. Up a hill. <laughs> Round table, both Ride and Isle of Wight, um, both like to marshal for the hospice because the hospice is such a good cause. Um, we, we split the day up between uh, probably about 20 of us and it's just something we like to do. Why is the Isle of Wight a good place to do something like this? Because it's a fantastic way to see the best parts of the island really. Uh, too many people drive nowadays. You get to walk and you get to run or whatever and it's just a fantastic way to see bits that you don't normally see. So we're here at Allen Bay and you've offered to help out with uh, Walk the White, why is that? Um, well I'm very fond of the Isle of Wight and uh, we 
bought a little cottage in Yarmouth. I'm going to spend a lot more time here, but I've been visiting here for years and years and years. And I got involved with the Mountbatten Hospice and had a good look round and uh, doing everything I can to help them. Oh, this is one of the great walks. If you, ha you know, next to me, next to the Lake District or the north of Scotland. Not that I've done a lot of walking there. I've been up and seen the scenery and found the pubs. But uh, for a sheer wonderful, spectacular scenery here, it's just wonderful. And uh, it's not too difficult to walk. There's some test little testing bits, but every time you turn a corner, there's another magnificent view across out to the Needles, across the Channel, across the Solent, across the Isle of Wight, the rivers. It's beautiful, just beautiful.